Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lord, and it is finally here, you guys. We're ready to start our Oregon Ducks NCAA 10 Dynasty Mode series. Now, I asked you guys in the last video what team did you guys want us to use, and the majority of you guys actually surprised me and said you guys wanted to rock with the Oregon Ducks for whatever reason. I thought UVA was going to win the poll. But the Oregon Ducks is the team, and that's who we're going to rock with. So the first thing you see me doing is creating my coach. And I haven't played this game, haven't really touched Dynasty Mode in a long time. So we're going to be going through this stuff together for the most part. I haven't done recruiting and all that stuff. So we're pretty much going to be going through all this stuff together. Hopefully, it's not too bad, and it is very entertaining. For this video, it's just the intro video. I want to get this out as quickly as possible so we can go ahead and move straight into the actual games. But for my coaching style, I'm going to go with up tempo. Now, I know if you guys played the game, there is tempo. You have balance, slow tempo, and then the up tempo. We're going to go up tempo. We are Oregon, just like the football team. We're going to try to run and gun a little bit. Now, as for the settings, everything's pretty much on default. We're going to go ahead and rock with 12 minute quarters. As of right now, we're going to be playing on All-American. Then I might go ahead and bump that up. It's the hardest difficulty later but we're already invited to the NIT season tip off we haven't even done anything and we got an invitation to a tournament so we're gonna go ahead and actually accept that and then go ahead and take a look at our roster so this is what we got we got Michael Dunnigan now this is what I did with the roster too before I go ahead and explain to everybody I just named our roster everybody else every other team has random generated rosters I really could not get the file to work that had all the rosters so this is the 2009-2010 Oregon Ducks right here the only changes I made I put Wiley at our small forward position he was originally on the bench and I also moved Humphrey up as our starting shooting guard just because he had a little better three ball than what we had before I think Garrett Sim was up there before so I went ahead and made that move but besides that this is our roster not the best roster, but it's definitely decent to say the least. So taking a look here at the actual ESPN season preview, they got us towards the bottom of the Pac-10, finishing eighth in the Pac-10 with only a B overall. When you take a look at the other schools going forward, I believe it was UCLA that is the highest ranked Pac-10 school. But you got another good Pac-10 schools in you. You still have Arizona. You have Cal, who I believe is ranked eighth in the country right now. You have Stanford as well. So a pretty solid Pac-10. This is what I have for in terms of our schedule. I only made a couple of changes. Wisconsin is going to be our opening game. But we go on a huge road, a road trip Excuse me, in December, taking on number 12, West Virginia, the ending at Duke, who is ranked number nine. So ending that Cameron Indoor Stadium, that is definitely going to be a tough road trip. And besides that, looking at our actual conference play, we take on UCLA middle, middle of January. And then we take on the hard part of our Pac-10 schedule at the end, playing Washington and playing Cal a lot towards the end. So looking at our training time right now, like I said, I haven't done this. So you guys let me know if I did this completely wrong or not. I went ahead and pretty much moved up our shooting to 50%. Why not? I feel like that is extremely important for our backcourt. Move that up. For our front court. I wanted to focus on defense because that also um, contributes to the rebounding. So I moved that up to 40%, I believe. And then our shooting and all that stuff, moved that to about 20 Actually, I moved my defense up to 50%. So you guys already know where I'm trying to go with. And then I went with the 60-40 split for our starters and our reserves. So I want to kind of keep a balance, but you know, our starters, they need a little bit more love and a little bit more attention. So looking at our team preview, we only have two scholarships and we need a center and power forward. So that's what we definitely want to go out to get. But I want to add a couple of other players to the recruiting board just in case. Now you have to have 25 players on your watch list or else the computer starts adding players for you. I don't really like that. So I had to go ahead and add a full 25 players. So we're going to go through very quickly all the players we have up here. Some guys are kind of make a wish, but everybody has at least medium to high interest already, which is definitely very good. But you can see us sorting right here through the actual player interest. If we can grab two of these guys, especially in the ESPN Top 100, that is definitely going to be a good look. But just in case we cannot grab one of these players in the top 100 i went ahead and i got some safety players as well players who were kind of interested but it shouldn't be that hard to recruit against them players that are ranked 800 in the country a thousand in the country so just in case I'm, I'm not good at recruiting we should have a safety net and hopefully be able to grab these players but i'll definitely update you guys as our recruiting goes on and we'll spotlight players as we get closer to actually signing some of these guys as for the top 25, this is what we have right now. Kansas is the number one team in the country. Michigan State, Texas, Villanova, and North Carolina is going to round out the top five. You have Purdue, Kentucky, California, Duke, and Tennessee for your top ten. And then everything else 
pretty much your top 25 through top 10. So you got like Ohio State in there, UConn's in there, Oklahoma's in there, Maryland's in there, of course. And, you know, we're not in there. Hopefully we can get in there by the end of the season. But I'm definitely excited for this series, you guys. If you guys have any suggestions for the series, anything to do with roster or just recruiting tips, anything like that, definitely let me know because I'm new with this as well. So I'm looking forward to this being a very, very good series. I hope you guys are as well. If you are, please go ahead, leave this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace. Thank you.